Welcome to another vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I am a full-time content creator and I live in Nashville, Tennessee. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a few different things. We're going to first start off with a little bit of decorating and then I actually need to clean um, some of the products that are going to be going up in my boho home decor shop. I started a boho home decor shop about a month ago, which is very exciting. It's primarily on Etsy just because I've been an Etsy seller for like years now. I used to sell vintage clothing on there. Now I'm selling vintage thrifted home decor. And I'm also on a few other seller platforms as well, like Poshmark to Pop, just so that I can appeal to those of you who maybe use like different apps instead of others. So in this video, I'm gonna be getting ready some of the pieces that are gonna be going up in my shop within the next few weeks. And then after that, I'm actually going to be making DIY cards that are going to be thank you cards that go into every package when I receive an order. So definitely some fun stuff, but let's go ahead and get started with the decorating. So the space I wanted to decorate today is this wall here. It's the wall that my media console is on. I've got a little macrame plant hanger there. I'm actually going to be switching that out and getting a longer macrame hanger. I want one that hangs to like about there and then I'm actually gonna switch out the cacti for a golden potho so that we can get like those really long vines growing. I think that'll be very pretty. So for this wall, I actually wanted to have like a big, huge macrame hanger. Originally, I really wanted a shelf going across that I could put like plants and home decor on. But the problem with that is that they leave really big holes in the wall and this is just a rental. So I don't know if I wanna to commit to that. So I have actually found a lot of macrame hangers on Facebook Marketplace, but they always seem to be like the wrong dimensions or somebody's already bought them. I just haven't like had any luck, but I wanted to go ahead and put something up for now. So I thought that this little Colombian hanger would look cute there. It's actually a wind chime, <laughs> but I've always used it just as like wall decor because I didn't really want like the little ladies getting like chipped and in the wind they like knock against each other a lot. So um, it's very easy for them to like break and chip. And I didn't really want that because my mom actually gave this to me. So I want to keep it in good shape. So I thought, you know what, why not just put it up on the wall? I've had it hanging in my little um, bench nook and it did actually look really cute there, but that spot doesn't get seen very often because the barn door is always like slid back so that we can get like in and out of the bathroom easier. So because the barn door is hiding in the nook, you can't really see this very often. So I figured, you know what, why don't I put that up there for now? And then eventually, you know, I'll switch out with the perfect macrame hanger when I find it or maybe something else. Who knows? So I'm gonna go ahead and hang this up and hopefully it will look good. I'm sure it will. And I just hung it up with a tack. I grabbed another one so you guys can see this, but tacks are awesome for hanging stuff in your um, apartment, like any rentals, because they have like a super, super thin nail on them. So it leaves like a really tiny hole. So that's kind of what you want for a rental. You don't want to leave like any big holes because potentially your landlord could knock back some of like the money that you get back at the end of your deposit. So just something to keep in mind, tax are a great solution. I actually use tax to hang like tons of things up in my apartments. It's actually kind of funny because a lot of the decor pieces I have in my apartment are from Columbia. If you guys don't know, my mom's from Columbia, so I'm half Colombian. I don't know if I've mentioned it on my YouTube channel before, which is kind of funny, but um, she has given me a lot of home decor pieces 
like that hanging there and I have two rugs that a lot of people will like comment to me and say like where did you get that rug and it's so funny because I always feel bad because it's from Columbia so it's like kind of one of a kind I can't really like tell you where to get one like it. I also have a cowhide rug that was actually my parents and they gave that to me and they had actually given me those rugs as well. They bought all of those pieces um, on their honeymoon in Columbia, I believe. So, um, but they had like multiple of them. So they gave me a few of the rugs, cowhide, and my mom's actually gonna send me some cowhide pillows. So I'm very excited to use those in my apartment. It's also great too, because I think it's a good way to represent my Colombian heritage, which I'm very proud of. So here's another look at the space. I feel like that just really ties it all in together, which I love. The terracotta pot ties in super nicely with the terracotta colors in the wind chime. And it also ties in super well with the wicker baskets and the decor and like the hatched pattern and colors in my TV console. So that was actually hanging here in my little nook area. So it's looking a little bare now. I think I had it just like hanging in front of that bag there. So I'm gonna rearrange this a little bit and just make it look a little cuter. So I picked up this basket on one of my last thrift trips and I think that this might look good in this corner. I feel like it would look good like either sitting on the bench or possibly up there with the other basket. So let's just see how that looks. this top basket in my home decor shop so that's just going to be there temporarily and then this basket here i may or may not keep it's pretty big so i don't know that i'd be able to ship it kind of have to figure that out so what i think would look really cute though is if i actually put a plant in there so kind of like dressed it up i think that would look so cute i have a lot of brown and wicker tones right now which i do love but a plant would just kind of liven that space up and break it up a little bit so I wanted to have the light off in the kitchen so that we could avoid having that sand noise in the video. But unfortunately, I realized that our dishwasher is going, so that's gonna be making kind of like a sound as well. And then our AC unit keeps turning off and on, so that might mess up the audio. So it's gonna have to deal with it. Okay, so all of these pieces are pieces that are gonna be going in my home decor. I actually grabbed those two baskets that I filed because these need to be cleaned as well. So what I kinda like to do is I will temporarily decorate my apartment with the pieces that are going in my shop. So then that way I get to kinda like show you guys what they would look like styled in a home and I also get to kind of use them and just like have fun refreshing my space that way. So it's kind of a perfect scenario. So when you pick up pieces at the shop, the problem is that a lot of the times they're very dusty and they kind of get like mildewy and stuff. But the problem with wicker is that you can't really just like run them through water or anything like that. It's bad for the wicker material. So I picked up this like electronics duster at Walmart. I think this was like two bucks or something that I want to use to basically like get some of the like dirt and dust build up out of these just to make sure they're nice and clean for when I ship them to my customers. Oh, okay, now it's working. Okay, so I've actually never used this before, but I'm pretty sure it should work. So I'm just gonna go for it. Ooh, this bottle gets like super 
super cold. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that did seem to get most of it. This one like wasn't too dirty to begin with though, so we'll see how it does on some of the other pieces that are like much dirtier. So for like some of this, I can just get like a wet rag and kind of wipe off a little bit. But I definitely didn't want to get the whole thing wet. Okay, so that one's good for now. This is a piece that I'm super excited about. It is this pastel toned basket. And this is one that had like a ton of dirt buildup. So let's see if we can do some damage with this. get clean so let's put that one aside for now this bag has a lot of dust in it as well so let's see if we can get this one dusted oh my god that like froze my hand okay so it says pull trigger in a series of short blasts so i probably shouldn't have been like holding it for so long I just don't think this is gonna work. I was really hoping that it would be like strong enough to like blast the dust off, but it doesn't seem to be working. So I'll probably have to think of a different way to get those clean. Okay, so a few of the other pieces I had were this like wood platter and these shakers. And these are actually pretty clean. All I kind of want to do is, um, make sure that I wipe the dust off of them. So they give these guys a good little dust in. Okay, so those are good to go. Cute little salt and pepper shaker set. And then this wood platter just has a little bit of like dusty grime on it. How pretty is that? I love like this floral pattern. This was actually hand drawn. Like you can tell that this was painted on by somebody, which I think is so cool because it makes it super unique. So I'm just gonna get this wet and then just like make sure to wipe off any dust that's on it. So unfortunately, another problem that I have is that like at the thrift stores, they put these stickers on the pieces and then the stickers like are so hard to get off for one and then they leave like this really bad residue on them. Sometimes it'll come off with water, sometimes it doesn't. So like this stickiness residue doesn't seem to be coming off with just water. So what I'm gonna have to do is get something a little bit stronger like soap to get that off. This one seems to be pretty good. So what I'll probably do is just use a little bit of soap to get that off. Okay, got a little bit of soap on this. And hopefully that will like cut through that sticky residue. What I found actually the other day was that um, hand sanitizer kind of worked to get it off. Um, Cause I noticed that there was like a little bit of sticky residue on something when I went to ship it. And so all I really had to clean it was like hand sanitizer and that did actually get it off. So I'm guessing it's because it's alcohol based. So it's like strong enough to cut through that sticky residue. So I think that might be what I try next on this guy. But other than that, Pretty clean. I also have this bamboo serving tray that just needs like a good wipe in certain areas. And then a few of the pegs need to be like super glued back on. So I have a super glue gun and I will get those glued back in place. 
and then I'm just gonna like wipe off any sticky residues that I see on here. You know, obviously these are like thrifted pieces, so they're gonna have a little bit of wear and tear. They're not like in perfect shape. It's not like you're buying like a brand new piece, but they are unique and one of a kind and just have a little bit of love worn into them. This one had a little bit of like a green stain on it. I'm like, I'm not sure what from. But luckily it seems to be coming up just fine. That one looks pretty good. We'll just have to hot glue it later. And like I said, with these baskets, I'm gonna have to find a better way to clean the dust out of them. Unfortunately, the electronic accessor didn't work like I thought it would. Okay, so next we are going to be making some DIY thank you cards to go into my packages. So I picked these up the other day, some white cardstock and then a watercolor set. And what I thought I would do is just make some cute little handmade cards that hopefully you guys will appreciate. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is taking a piece of the cardstock and then I figured that I would just like fold it in half both ways and see if I could just kind of like get it into small squares. I just want these to be like tiny cards. So I folded it in half one way. Okay, so I have my scissors and I'm just going to cut down the seam. I made sure they were nice and straight when I folded them in half. Okay, so then I'm gonna fold it in half again. And then now I basically just have this cute little card. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna watercolor little drawings onto them. So like, I kind of had in my head like maybe like a fun rainbow or like a watercolor heart. And just so you guys know, I am not an artist. Like I've never been very good at art. I've always been able to do like doodles and that's it. Not like super great ones or anything. So I'm just going to be like testing this out. Like this is not going to be like the done deal thing. Just want to kind of like test this out. And then um, once I get it down, I'll be able to make like tons more of them. So this one is just going to be like the tester. So do not judge me on this. Okay, got the plastic wrapping off. Um, it actually came with a paintbrush, which is great. And then there are so many pretty colors in this. So I am super excited about that. I was kind of, um, you know, thinking that I would stick to like the more muted tones, which I love. So like that pretty orange, these pretty like browns and reds. I mean, they're all really pretty. So let's just see what I come up with. Definitely not the prettiest, but you know what? It's from the heart, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. So my rainbow here is a little bit curvier than they usually come. It's kind of hard to get like that swoosh right. So like I said, I just need to like practice these more. If you guys have like seen my corner shelf, I actually have this rainbow print on that corner shelf and that was kind of like my inspiration. So I wanted it to have like these really warm tones to it. So I just have to practice getting that like swoosh right. Maybe I'll have to use like a pencil and like draw it in first, I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna be practicing so that these got a little bit better. 
these were just like the trial runs. Also, like it's kind of hard too because the colors look a lot different once you paint them than they do like on the little palette. So once I kind of like familiarize myself with the colors, I think that'll get easier. And then I probably should get myself a couple more brushes that's a little bit easier and so that I have like different like thicknesses. So yeah, we're just starting off here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I also forgot to mention that my Boho Home Decor Shop is called Urban Darling Shop, so definitely check it out if you guys wanna see some of the pieces that are already listed, and then a lot of these items that I showed you guys are gonna be listed within the next couple weeks. You can also follow along on the Instagram, which is at Urban Darling Shop. And also be sure to follow along with me. My Instagram is at the Urban Darling. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, please be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.